Welcome to the AscendoSoft demonstration of the Digital Drawer Document Management System. Today we'll discuss organizing and finding documents within Digital Drawer. At this point we've already logged in and are viewing the Personnel Records file cabinet. On the left within the file cabinets tab you will see all the file cabinets that this user has access to. To view the documents within any of the file cabinets just click the cabinet name. Remember, a file cabinet is simply a grouping of similar types of documents. For this demonstration, we have created five file cabinets, Customer Files, Financials, Invoices, Personnel Records, and Purchase Orders. There is no limit to the number of file cabinets that you can have, and you can name the file cabinet anything you want. This allows you to customize the organization of your files to fit your requirements. For this demonstration, we will look at the Personnel Records file cabinet. In the document grid to the right, each row represents a document. To view a document, simply double-click on the corresponding row within the grid. The selected document is then opened within the document viewer. I'll show you what a user can do with the document in a moment, but first I'll explain the main screen in a little more detail. Each file cabinet can have up to 25 index fields and you can name these index fields according to your requirements. These are the column titles that you see at the top of the grid. The index fields will allow you to easily organize, sort, and locate the documents within a file cabinet. Since this file cabinet was created to store personnel records, we have created four index fields. The first field displays the employee's name, the second displays the document description, allowing you to know what type of document is contained, such as an employment application or an annual review. We also see the employee's social security number and department, allowing you to locate documents based on that information as well. To find the document that you are looking for, you have several options. You can sort on any of the columns in the grid, as well as manually scroll through the list. You can also click on the plus sign next to the file cabinet name to see the folders. For the personnel records file cabinet, we see a list of all employees in our system. You can then click on the name of an employee to see all documents associated with that employee. You can continue to navigate through the folders until you find the documents that you are looking for. The document grid is now displaying the employment contract for Bill Moore. Keep in mind that all the folders and index fields can easily be customized to fit your specific needs. You can also do a search for documents to allow you even more flexibility in finding the file that you need. By clicking on the search or binoculars icon, the search dialog box will appear. We will be searching the entire personnel records file cabinet. To find a document by a specific index field, you can either type the document information in the appropriate field or just select the information from the drop-down list. For example, let's find all the employment contracts for employees in the Customer Service Department. As you can see, we've quickly found the three employment contracts for our Customer Service employees. There is another very handy way to find documents. At the bottom of the search window, there is a field named Document Text. This field lets you locate every document in the system that contains a particular word or phrase. This is great for doing research that otherwise you'd not be able to do. This will also prevent you from ever losing a document since you can always locate the document based on the text contained within it. The days of misfiling and losing documents will be over. Once you've found the document that you're looking for, you can simply double click on the document to open it. To see the document more clearly, you can zoom in rotate it, or move through the pages. You can also add annotations or markups to a document. If you want to highlight an area, click the highlight icon and select the area of the document that you want to highlight. To add a stamp, click the stamp icon to select the stamp that you want to add. For this demonstration, we've created a stamp that says confidential. To add a note to the document, click the note icon. Select the area of the document where you want the note to be placed and then enter some text. You can resize and move the note anywhere on the document. You can also draw marks on the document using the marker tool. If there is sensitive information in this document that you don't want certain individuals to see, such as a social security number or sensitive financial information, you can black out or redact the information in the document. 
To do this, click the Redact icon on the toolbar and select the location of the document that you want to black out. On the toolbar, you have the options to export, email, or print this document. With each option, you have the ability to choose whether or not to include the annotations. You have the following options. No annotations or redactions, which gives you the original document with no markups, with annotations and redactions, with annotations only, or with redactions only. If you choose with the redactions only, the printed or emailed document will not contain any of the highlights, notes, or stamps but any blacked out areas will be blacked out in the document that is processed. You can also insert, delete, or move pages around within a document by clicking on the document menu. Now that we have seen what you are able to do with the documents in the system, we'll close the document and return to the main screen within Digital Drawer. There are many more features within Digital Drawer that we will not touch on in this demonstration. However, I want to mention just a few. To modify or correct index data for a file cabinet, just click Tools, Edit Mode. This lets you change or correct the index data for a document. Then click Apply Changes. You can then turn off Edit Mode. In the event that you wish to print or email multiple documents at once, you can do so within the system without having to open up each document one at a time. Instead, you simply select all the documents that you want to print or email and click the appropriate icon on the toolbar or you can right click and display a menu where you have the option to perform many functions on the selected files. For example, you can also copy or move files from one file cabinet to another. As you can see, Digital Drawer is designed to be very easy to use. But if you need help determining how to do something, there is a help system which explains how to work with Digital Drawer complete with step-by-step -step instructions. This concludes our demonstration of Digital Drawer. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact us at 425-749-3850, email info at ascendosoft.com, or visit digitaldrawer.net. Thank you for spending a few minutes to view this video.